everyone, so today I am here with another planner video. I know I haven't done one in such a long time. It's been a couple of months and a lot of people have been asking me to do plan with me's and things like that and I'm definitely coming back with plan with me's but I wanted to come back first with a planner update and show you guys a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to show you guys the past spreads that you have not seen. Um, so I have some sticker hauls to show you and then I just have like some new planner stuff really in general to show you. So as you guys probably know if you've watched my planner videos before, I do have a plum paper planner this year um, as if you guys have seen it and if you also follow my planner Instagram which is just Kirsten Plans I show you guys my spreads every week so that way you don't have to really look forward to a planner update you can see them every week so I wanted to start off just by showing you guys my spreads um, just recently since I moved to Texas I started doing the no white space spreads I know if you've seen my plan with me's or things previously this is the typical type of a spread I would do uh, a lot of white space I would you know have it separated but I still do that and it would just be a lot of white space and things like that and this worked for me at the time and I really did like it but as I was learning how I liked to plan I realized that I really do enjoy kind of really putting a lot of creative thought and creative effort into it and really not doing any sort of white space at all so that's what I started doing about this week this week is not one of my favorite spreads but it is the first official like no white space spread that I did and it turned out okay but every other spread after this is something that I can honestly say that I'm proud of so this was the week of June 15th through the 21st this was the first week I'm really like I was really really happy about um, I did like a nautical theme I kind of started doing themes and I really like the way it turned out Sorry, I'm adjusting um, I just like the way it turned out I love the colors of it and I think it all kind of went together really well the next week I did more of like a beach theme as you guys will be able to see in June I kind of stuck to more of like blue because I had blue headers the same blue headers that matched um, the plum paper June colors so I did more of a beach theme. I really liked this one as well. It kind of went kind of with the original theme as you guys can see in this little section right here. The next week, um, Plum Paper Planner kind of irritates me in the fact that it separates, which is a little irritating, but the next week was only a couple days in June, so I did like the rainy day theme, which I thought turned out really cute. And then the rest was the July 4th theme, and I love this spread. I think this spread turned out really awesome. This was the week that we moved into our own apartment. Um, the only thing I'm not really like sure about is the fact that I kind of just exploded 4th of July stickers on this side. But I still think it turned out really, really good, and I was really proud of it. Then I did a sketch theme. As you guys will probably see, I did a lot of red in July, so I did a sketch theme, which I think turned out really good. And as you can see, I kind of kept some things that I started doing when I first started planning, you know, such as the hydrate stickers and the page flags under the YouTube. I kind of kept some things because I just like the way it worked. It, you know, you find things that you like when you plan, and it, it ends up working out really, really well. So I kept a lot of things that I originally started out with. Um, the next week, I did the red geometric theme. This looks like it has a lot going on, but I kind of like that. And I like it because I know where everything is. I know that the top section is always my today section. So, you know, my work schedule, my workout, what I need to get done, or what we're doing. My like my middle section is always the YouTube section, and then my bottom section is always my school section. So I know that's kind of how it works. So it works best for me that way to plan with no white space. I just think it looks prettier in my opinion. Next week, which this was last week, was the fall floral theme. The only thing I really didn't like about this theme is that I didn't really put any sort of decorations or any sort of like decorative stickers anywhere other than like right here yeah and up top and I kind of wish I would have added some more but I didn't really have anything that I thought would look good with this spread but I still think this turned out really pretty and then on to this week I actually just planned this this morning I did the pink geometric theme which I think turned out really pretty it's very like cotton candy-ish and I think it looks really pretty as well and then I also since there's two days left for August I did kind of like a pineapple theme, which I also think uh, turned out really cute. This I was really surprised at how cute this turned out, and I really like how I did the little pineapples on the bottom next to the hydrate stickers. I thought those turned out cute. So those were all of my spreads recently. Um, I'm really, really happy with them. I definitely think in the month of August, I want to do more than one plan with me. I do have some spread ideas already set in place, so I do want to do... I have like a blue tribal theme that I want to do. I have a mermaid theme. I have, well I'm not sure, I'm literally just like putting them where I think. Uh, pink lemonade and um, like a floral, another floral theme. So I know I want to film a couple of those. I'm thinking I'm probably going to film probably the mermaid 
the pink lemonade, and potentially the floral. I don't know. I just really want to film a couple of Plan With Me's because I feel like I've been slacking as far as Plan With Me's goes, and I really want to, you know, do more for you guys, and especially because I have changed up my style of planning. So that is everything as far as spreads go. I do have a few hauls to show you now. I'll start with my sticker hauls that I have. I have three sticker hauls to show you. I have stuff from One Orange Snowflake, I have stuff from Vintage Gypsy Road, and also from Lisa V Creation. So I'll get started with One Orange Snowflake. Like, uh, Taylor was so sweet. She actually sent me a bunch of things because as you guys know, if, or maybe you don't know, I do work for Scribble Prints Co., which is another Etsy sticker shop. So um, she was really, really sweet and she asked Andrea if I wanted anything. And I had a couple of things that I wanted, but she ended up putting together like a big old pile for me, which I thought was really, really sweet. So I've looked at these a couple of times, but I still kind of don't remember what's all is in here because I left it because I wanted to be able to haul it. On top I have these little bed stickers. There's this little gold sample. I love the gold stickers. I think they're so cute. I actually purchased from her a long time ago the gold dots. I have a ton of them and I really, really like them and I like her gold theme. Some of the, oh, these are called the Divider Glitter Chevrons. I like that she put the names on the sides. That's really cool. Um, I love these little, little glitter, or not glitter, but the Chevron stickers in general. And I like that she's doing like different designs and stuff. So there's glitter. There is, what is this, Pastel Boca Chevron Borders. And this is just the original. I have a few of these. This is her other sampler kit, which I really like these little strips. I think these would be cool for maybe the pool or the beach. Her mini page flags are really nice. And there's some more half boxes. I've been recently getting into a lot of half boxes and I've really been liking planning with them. And these are just glitter ones. I love these, I've gotten these before. And these are the little notebook pages. These would be cool for like my school pages. If I wasn't doing like a specific theme for the week and I just wanted to do something for my school, I could do these, that would be really cute. Some more half boxes. These ones look like they have little scales on them. These ones are cool, they're little design. There's some chevron and some stripes and polka dots and stuff. Same with these, like some multicolored. Here's like a little pink lemonade set. I think this would be really, really cute when I do the pink lemonade week. It has a bunch of really cute stuff as well as some half boxes and some little page flags. Or not page flags, what are these called? There's some page banners, that's what I was saying. Um, there's another one which is like more mason jar and sunflower. This would be really, really cute in the summer. Um, I love her princess stickers. She is my all-time favorite princess stickers. So these are just some of the ones I don't have because I pretty much have every single one in the shop. Uh, these are the Beauty and the Beast ones. The bell ones I love these these are so so cute there's some Alice in Wonderland ones this is her jumbo sampler it says jumbo sampler number one so this has oh I love these little mason jar ones these are so cute it has some sayings on it as well as a bunch of things to sample with there's the jumbo fall sampler which I really like are these little Ooh, cool these are little individual ones I like those so much I cannot wait to plan in the fall I am so so excited so there's a fall sampler one and then she has, what are these called? Sketch Quotes Life Happens. This is a Sketch Quotes set number one. These are really cute, I like these. Uh, sketch, quote, set, sketch Quotes set number two. Uh, number four, I like how she has this. And then she also included some Grey's Anatomy ones because I love Grey's Anatomy, if you guys know, I've been watching it. And so these ones have some of the like sayings on it, like, you know, you're my person, pick me, choose me, love me. These are so cute, I love these. I don't know how I'm gonna use them, but I'm definitely going to try to use them. Then there's this set right here. This is the purple paisley strips, flags, and teardrops. This would be such a cute theme. Oh, and it comes with another full boxes too. That's really cute. I actually really like that. That one's really pretty, that's my favorite. I think that might be my favorite too. Really, really cute. This one is the Autumn Owls Strips, Flags, and Teardrops, and I think this goes with this one. This would be such a cool theme to do. I might do this as a theme. This would be so cool, cute for the fall. So thank you so much, Taylor. Um, I love these stickers so, so much, and you guys know I'll definitely use them in possible future plan with me's and things like that, but you'll definitely see them in my spreads. The next stickers set I have to show you are from Vintage Gypsy Road from Whitney. These are so cute. I love Vintage Gypsy Road stickers. I think her sticker paper is amazing, and I just love all her stickers. Her stickers are mostly, to me, more decorative. So these are stickers that I would use kind of in my, like, in my sticker or in my spreads. I would use them to decorate my spreads. So I have a pink lemonade one on top. I basically am trying to get as many pink lemonade stickers as possible, but these are so, so cute. I love these so much. I actually really like the little lemonade stand one. I think I, think I know exactly where I'm gonna put that in my spread. Real excited about this one. She has a ton of these new like glitter tassel banners, which I think are so cute. So I got the silver and gray one because this is a really neutral color. It goes with pretty much everything. I got the watercolor dream catchers, which I think are really pretty. Pretty. This is the mason jar lemonade and sweet teas and I like that how it's kind of like customizable so you could put like 
pick one of the mason jars, pick a straw, pick a lemon, and put it all together. I think that's really, really cute. There's these cake ones, which I think are really cute for, like, birthdays. There's a little s'more set. I love s'mores. I think this is so cute. Again, it's like a build-your-own, which I think is adorable. I actually really like this set. I don't know what this is called specifically, but it is, like, a breakfast-type set, and I just think it's really cute, and I think this would be a really cute way to decorate a spread. So I have that one, and then I do believe all of these came together in, like, a summer-type set, so it came with, like, little decorative stickers, some half boxes or a little washi, some, like, washi strips and then some full boxes. I like these more so for decorating and these actually would be perfect if you have things to write in here. And I really like the pineapple and flamingos. I think those are really cute actually. So these are all from Vintage Gypsy Road or Whitney's shop and I love these. These are so, so cute. And lastly, I put in an order from Lisa V Creations. I've heard of her a couple of times through a few YouTube videos and I really liked some of the stickers that I was seeing so I really wanted to try them out. So her sticker shop's really interesting. It comes with this card which is basically like a rewards card on the back it kind of gives you like an explanation of her shop and then you can fill in like every time you've ordered and every five orders you get like a free set every 20 orders you get a four free sets which I think is kind of cool it has to be really difficult though to be ordered like to be able to like pay attention to all this I just think it's crazy but I think this is a really cute concept as you can see I've used some of these stickers but I wanted to show you quickly she also has a business card in here as well as a little sampler kit which first couple of days of August and I did use this set the majority of it but I did end up purchasing two of them because I liked it so much so you kind of saw that a little bit but it comes with three full boxes three half boxes these little like bottom pineapples and then just a bunch of decorative ones I think these are really cute and I like how they're almost like a watercolor design I think those are really cute then I got this like eye cat one which I really like I should have got two of them the only thing I dislike about the sticker sheets is that I can't really do a whole spread I have to end up buying two of them because it only comes with four of these full boxes and I end up using seven or eight of the full boxes and then washi so that's a little disappointing to me but I really do like them and these also peel up super super easily as well then I also got this like citrus fruit type one which I think again is really cute I kind of again wish that it was had more full boxes but I still like it and then I got this one which I really like I think this might be my favorite I love that it looks hand drawn I think it's really really cute and I definitely see myself using these often like I think I would just repurchase them because they're just pretty and then the last little sticker sheet that I got was the scroll half boxes like I said I've been really getting into scroll or into half boxes so I got the scroll ones because I thought they'd be fun to try out so like I said I got a few of these on um, the other day actually and I really like them I definitely think I'll be placing more of an, another order just because I do really like her shop and that's the first time I've ever gotten anything from her shop so got those from Lisa V Creations all right and last but not least I have a few new planners to show you as more of a more of a as more of a new haul I guess um, I know I have my plum paper planner which I love and I use it all the time but I have recently been discovering that yes it works for everyday planning and things like that but I have such a small today section I can't really fit in every single thing and it doesn't really work the way I need it to so I'm gonna explain the best I can so let me flip to this spread so I got two of these three ring binders they were in the dollar section at Target they were three dollars each and I bought some of the inserts that go with them so in this particular binder this is my bills and like money tracker finance binder so I'm not going to show you actually like the set pages and what they look like but this one has basically just striped pages which is easy for me to figure out bills and stuff like that and I write how much they're worth or not how much they're worth how much a bill is and when I pay it and you know how much I wrote the check for and things like that and that's what I've been using this binder for and this has come in handy and I just think it's so cute it looks really cute sitting on my desk and it was three dollars then I also have this one same exact thing this one again I use for finances the inserts for this one are they have month at a glance and then they have you know each individual day so I use this for finances as well to write down when the bills do when I paid it things like that which may sound a bit excessive to have different binders for it but in my head it makes sense plus they just look really cute all like you know decorative like this on my desk 
also have a day designer from Target. If you guys are interested in a day designer from Target and you see one at Target and you like the pattern, buy it that day. I am not kidding you because I saw this design one day and I decided on buying it just like out of, out of a whim. And the next day we went, we literally went the next day and they were all sold out and I haven't seen them since. So if you're interested in getting a day, a day designer planner and you like the pattern you see when you go to the store, buy it that day. So this is 2015 and 2016. Again, I really like this pattern that I use this particular one for. Like I said, it has a month at a glance and every day at a glance. What I use this one for is to track my to-do list, basically. This is an entire to-do list. It has a to-do section, this week's top three, and this is really helpful to me to write down things that, you know, I don't want to show on my planner Instagram, things that I don't think I need, you know, to make public, such so as how much my, you know, rent is, how much my Verizon bill is. So I use this and the finance binders for the exact same thing. Just write my to-do list for the day, what I need to clean, things like that. And it's very, very helpful. So I have this one, and I, again, really like the pattern of this. And then the last like planner, I guess, that I have, and I know this may sound a bit excessive, but it all makes sense in my head, is this one that I also got at Target. This one is more of a huge notebook style planner. It is rose gold and white striped. I think it's really, really pretty. It is called, what is it? A, it's just a Mead Weekly Monthly Planner. I think it's really cute. So this is what it looks like. And again, it has a month at a glance, and then it has every single day, kind of the same exact thing. What I do for this planner is I write down my YouTube video schedule. Now this may, again, seem kind of crazy, but this helps me so much more than you know because I'll write the video. I upload Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I write the video that I want to do, and then below I write things that I want to mention. So I just did a clothing haul and try on as my last video, so I wrote that down, like the title that I wanted, and then I wrote down each individual store that I, I purchase things from so that way it's easy for me to remember because it is hard I don't want to you know when I haul things I don't want to just keep them out and not use them for a couple weeks because I can film a video with it I want to be able to wear my things and remember what I want to haul with favorites and you know so on and so forth like and with this plan with me video I wrote down everything that I wanted to mention it's actually a lot more helpful in my opinion and again it may seem excessive to have this many different planners but it's really really helpful to me and it's not like I'm literally writing in them every single day I sit down and I write in them like every once in a while like one day I'll think of a video and be like what day do I want to upload this and write it down and you guys know I plan like this on Sundays and it just seems a little excessive but I promise it's not it makes sense in my head and the last thing that I wanted to show you is my planner for next year I did already get my planner for next year and I'm very very excited about it I ended up getting the Erin Condren rose gold planner this is the 18 month and no I did not start using it in July unfortunately I am going to wait until January so this is what it looks like but I am so so excited about it Andrea actually got it for me which I think was so so sweet of her I was really really wanting to get an Erin Condren because I do have my plum paper and I do like my plum paper but I was very interested in this and I was going to initially do like an unboxing of this but I decided against it because I got it and I just did other videos around the same time and I was like you know what I'm good so this is what it looks like I really like it I like that it doesn't have anything on these now I love the colors I think the colors are so pretty I'm so excited to plan with this um, but yeah I have the 18 month which may again seem a little bit like too much but I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other pages but it also comes with you know what is this even called a perpetual calendar and contacts which I really like this actually and some stickers and things like that which is cute and that's what the back looks like in case you guys are curious. That is everything that I wanted to share with you guys for my planner update. I know it's kind of a lot, but I still wanted to share everything so you guys had an idea of basically what's been going on in the planning world for me. It's quite a bit, honestly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe to me if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.